Antwerp, listen, Dutch, Antwerpen, NTRP, N, listen, French, Anvers, VS, is a city in Belgium, and is the capital of Antwerp province in Flanders. With a population of 520,504, it is the most populous city proper in Belgium, and with 1,200,000 the second largest metropolitan region after Brussels, Antwerp is on the River Scheldt, linked to the North Sea by the rivers Westerschelde Estuary. It is about 40 kilometers 25 miles north of Brussels, and about 15 kilometers 9 miles south of the Dutch border. The port of Antwerp is one of the biggest in the world, ranking second in Europe and within the top 20 globally. The city is also known for its diamond industry and trade. Both economically and culturally, Antwerp is and has long been an important city in the Low Countries, especially before and during the Spanish Fury 1576, and throughout and after the subsequent Dutch Revolt. Antwerp was also the place of the world's oldest stock exchange building, originally built in 1531 and rebuilt in 1872. The inhabitants of Antwerp are nicknamed Sinjoren, Dutch pronunciation, S -jo -r -n, after the Spanish honorific Senor or French Seigneur, Lord, referring to the Spanish nobleman who ruled the city in the 17th century. The city hosted the 1920 Summer Olympics. History Topic. Origin of the name According to folklore, notably celebrated by a statue in front of the town hall, the city got its name from a legend about a giant called Antigoon who lived near the Scheldt River. He extracted a toll from passing boatmen, and for those who refused, he severed one of their hands and threw it into the river. Eventually the giant was killed by a young hero named Silvius Bravo, who cut off the giant's own hand and flung it into the river. Hence the name Antwerpen, from Dutch hand werpen, akin to Old English hand and werpan, to throw, which has evolved to today's warp. A long-standing theory is that the name originated in the Gallo-Roman period and comes from the Latin Antwerpia. Antwerpia would come from ante, before, verpia, deposition, sedimentation, indicating land that forms by deposition in the inside curve of a river, which is in fact the same origin as Germanic wyerpen. Note that the river Scheldt, before a transition period between 600 and 750, followed a different track. This must have coincided roughly with the current ringway south of the city, situating the city within a former curve of the river. However, many historians think it unlikely that there was a large settlement which would be named Antwerpia, but more something like an outpost with a river crossing. However, John Lothrop Motley argues, and so do a lot of Dutch etymologists and historians, that Antwerp's name derives from Ander, at and Werpum, wharf to give an T W E R F on the wharf, in the same meaning as the current English wharf. A A N T W E R P at the warp is also possible. This warp. Thrown ground is a man-made hill or a river deposit, high enough to remain dry at high tide, whereupon a construction could be built that would remain dry. Another word for werp is pol dike, hence polders, the dry land behind a dike, that was no longer flooded by the tide. Alfred Machiels has suggested that derivations based on hand werpen, antwerpia, on the wharf, or at the warp lack historical backing in the form of recorded past spellings of the place name. He points instead to Dado's life of Saint Eligius Vita Eligii from the 7th century, which records the form Andoverpus. He sees in it a Celtic origin indicating, those who live on both banks. Topic. Pre Historical Antwerp allegedly had its origins in a Gallo-Roman vicus. Excavations carried out in the oldest section near the Scheldt 1952 to 1961 ref. 
Princeton, produced pottery shards and fragments of glass from mid-2nd century to the end of the 3rd century. The earliest mention of Antwerp dates from the 4th century. In the 4th century, Antwerp was first named, having been settled by the Germanic Franks. The Merovingian Antwerp was evangelized by Saint Amund in the 7th century. At the end of the 10th century, the Scheldt became the boundary of the Holy Roman Empire. Antwerp became a margraviate in 980, by the German Emperor Otto II, a border province facing the county of Flanders. In the 11th century, the best-known leader of the First Crusade 1096 to 1099, Godfrey of Bouillon, was originally Margrave of Antwerp, from 1076 until his death in 1100, though he was later also Duke of Lower Lorraine 1087 to 1100, and Defender of the Holy Sepulchre 1099 to 1100. In the 12th century, Norbert of Xanten established a community of his Premonstratensian canons at St. Michael's Abbey at Callos. Antwerp was also the headquarters of Edward III during his early negotiations with Jacob van Artveld, and his son Lionel, the Duke of Clarence, was born there in 1338. Topic. 16th century. After the silting up of the Zwin and the consequent decline of Bruges, the city of Antwerp, then part of the Duchy of Brabant, grew in importance. At the end of the 15th century the foreign trading houses were transferred from Bruges to Antwerp, and the building assigned to the English nation is specifically mentioned in 1510. Antwerp became the sugar capital of Europe, importing the raw commodity from Portuguese and Spanish plantations. The city attracted Italian and German sugar refiners by 1550, and shipped their refined product to Germany, especially Cologne. Moneylenders and financiers developed a large business lending money all over Europe including the English government in 1544-1574. London bankers were too small to operate on that scale, and Antwerp had a highly efficient bourse that itself attracted rich bankers from around Europe. After the 1570s, the city's banking business declined. England ended its borrowing in Antwerp in 1574. Fernand Braudel states that Antwerp became the centre of the entire international economy, something Bruges had never been even at its height. Antwerp was the richest city in Europe at this time. Antwerp's golden age is tightly linked to the age of exploration. During the first half of the 16th century Antwerp grew to become the second largest European city north of the Alps. Many foreign merchants were resident in the city. Francesco Guicciardini, the Florentine envoy, stated that hundreds of ships would pass in a day, and 2,000 carts entered the city each week. Portuguese ships laden with pepper and cinnamon would unload the cargo. According to Luke Norman Tellier, it is estimated that the port of Antwerp was earning the Spanish crown seven times more revenues than the Americas. Without a long-distance merchant fleet, and governed by an oligarchy of banker aristocrats forbidden to engage in trade, the economy of Antwerp was foreigner-controlled, which made the city very cosmopolitan, with merchants and traders from Venice, Ragusa, Spain and Portugal. Antwerp had a policy of toleration, which attracted a large crypto Jewish community composed of migrants from Spain and Portugal. By 1504, the Portuguese had established Antwerp as one of their main shipping bases, bringing in spices from Asia and trading them for textiles and metal goods. The city's trade expanded to include cloth from England, Italy and Germany, wines from Germany, France and Spain, salt from France, and wheat from the Baltic. The city's skilled workers processed soap, fish, sugar, and especially cloth. Banks helped finance the trade, the merchants, and the manufacturers. The city was a cosmopolitan center, its bourse opened in 1531, to the merchants of all nations, 
Antwerp experienced three booms during its golden age, the first based on the pepper market, a second launched by American silver coming from Seville ending with the bankruptcy of Spain in 1557, and a third boom, after the stabilizing treaty of Cateau Cambresi in 1559, based on the textiles industry. At the beginning of the 16th century Antwerp accounted for 40% of world trade. The boom and bust cycles and inflationary cost of living squeezed less skilled workers. In the century after 1541, the city's economy and population declined dramatically the Portuguese merchants left in 1549, and there was much less trade in English cloth. Numerous financial bankruptcies began around 1557. Amsterdam replaced Antwerp as the major trading center for the region. Topic: Reformation era. The religious revolution of the Reformation erupted in violent riots in August 1566, as in other parts of the Low Countries. The regent Margaret, Duchess of Parma, was swept aside when Philip II sent the Duke of Alba at the head of an army the following summer. When the Eighty Years' War broke out in 1568, commercial trading between Antwerp and the Spanish port of Bilbao collapsed and became impossible. On 4 November 1576, Spanish soldiers sacked the city during the so-called Spanish Fury, 7,000 citizens were massacred, 800 houses were burnt down, and over £2 million sterling of damage was done. <inaudible> <inaudible> Dutch Revolt Subsequently, the city joined the Union of Utrecht in 1579 and became the capital of the Dutch Revolt. In 1585, Alessandro Farnes, Duke of Parma and Piacenza, captured it after a long siege and as part of the terms of surrender its Protestant citizens were given two years to settle their affairs before quitting the city. Most went to the United Provinces in the north, starting the Dutch Golden Age. Antwerp's banking was controlled for a generation by Genoa, and Amsterdam became the new trading centre. Topic: 17th–19th centuries. The recognition of the independence of the United Provinces by the Treaty of Munster in 1648 stipulated that the Scheldt should be closed to navigation, which destroyed Antwerp's trading activities. This impediment remained in force until 1863, although the provisions were relaxed during French rule from 1795 to 1814, and also during the time Belgium formed part of the Kingdom of the United Netherlands 1815 to 1830. Antwerp had reached the lowest point in its fortunes in 1800, and its population had sunk to under 40,000, when Napoleon, realizing its strategic importance, assigned funds to enlarge the harbour by constructing a new dock, still named the Bonaparte Dock, and an access lock and mole and deepening the Scheldt to allow for larger ships to approach Antwerp. Napoleon hoped that by making Antwerp's harbour the finest in Europe he would be able to counter the port of London and hamper British growth. However, he was defeated at the Battle of Waterloo before he could see the plan through. In 1830, the city was captured by the Belgian insurgents, but the citadel continued to be held by a Dutch garrison under General David Hendrik Chassé. For a time Chassé subjected the town to periodic bombardment which inflicted much damage, and at the end of 1832 the citadel itself was besieged by the French Northern Army commanded by Maréchal Gérard. During this attack the town was further damaged. In December 1832, after a gallant defence, Chassé made an honourable surrender, ending the Siege of Antwerp 1832. .Later that century, a double ring of Brialmont fortresses was constructed some 10 kilometres 6 miles from the city centre, as Antwerp was considered vital for the survival of the young Belgian state. And in the last decade Antwerp presented itself to the world via a World's Fair attended by 3 million.
Topic: 20th century. Antwerp was the first city to host the World Gymnastics Championships in 1903. During World War I, the city became the fallback point of the Belgian army after the defeat at Liège. The siege of Antwerp lasted for 11 days, but the city was taken after heavy fighting by the German army, and the Belgians were forced to retreat westwards. Antwerp remained under German occupation until the armistice. Antwerp hosted the 1920 Summer Olympics. During World War II, the city was an important strategic target because of its port. It was occupied by Germany in May 1940 and liberated by the British 11th Armoured Division on 4 September 1944. After this, the Germans attempted to destroy the port of Antwerp, which was used by the Allies to bring new material ashore. Thousands of Rheinbotte, V-1 and V-2 missiles were fired more V-2s than used on all other targets during the entire war combined, causing severe damage to the city but failed to destroy the port due to poor accuracy. After the war, Antwerp, which had already had a sizable Jewish population before the war, once again became a major European centre of Haredi and particularly Hasidic Orthodox Judaism. A 10-year plan for the port of Antwerp 1956 to 1965 expanded and modernized the port's infrastructure with national funding to build a set of canal docks. The broader aim was to facilitate the growth of the northeastern Antwerp metropolitan region, which attracted new industry based on a flexible and strategic implementation of the project as a co-production between various authorities and private parties. The plan succeeded in extending the linear layout along the Scheldt River by connecting new satellite communities to the main strip. Starting in the 1990s, Antwerp rebranded itself as a world class fashion centre. Emphasising the avant garde, it tried to compete with London, Milan, New York, and Paris. It emerged from organised tourism and mega cultural events. Topic. Municipality The municipality comprises the city of Antwerp proper and several towns. It is divided into nine entities districts Antwerp Berkham Berendrecht Zandliet Lillo Borgerhout Derna Ekeren Hoboken Merksum Wilriken 1958. In preparation of the 10 year development plan for the port of Antwerp, the municipalities of Berendrecht Zandliet Lillo were integrated into the city territory and lost their administrative independence. During the 1983 merger of municipalities, conducted by the Belgian government as an administrative simplification, the municipalities of Berkham, Borgerhout, Derna, Ekeren, Hoboken, Merksem and Wilrijk were merged into the city. At that time the city was also divided into the districts mentioned above. Simultaneously, districts received an appointed district council, later district councils became elected bodies. Topic. Buildings and landmarks In the 16th century, Antwerp was noted for the wealth of its citizens, Antwerpia Numis. The houses of these wealthy merchants and manufacturers have been preserved throughout the city. However, fire has destroyed several old buildings, such as the House of the Hanseatic League on the Northern Keys, in 1891. During World War II, the city also suffered considerable damage by V-bombs, and in recent years, other noteworthy buildings were demolished for new developments. Antwerp Zoo opened in 1843 and is one of the oldest in the world. Antwerp City Hall dates from 1565, and is built primarily in Renaissance style. Antwerp Central Station is a railway station designed by Louis de Lacenserie which was completed in 1905. Cathedral of Our Lady. This church was begun in the 14th century and finished in 1518. 
The church has four works by Rubens, viz. The Descent from the Cross. The Elevation of the Cross. The Resurrection of Christ. And. The Assumption. St. James Church, is more ornate than the cathedral. It contains lots of famous noble burials, among them a major part of the family of Rubens. The Church of St. Paul has a beautiful Baroque interior. It is a few hundred yards north of the Grote Markt. St. Andrew's Church St. Charles Borromeo Church Museum Vlishwi Butchers Hall is a fine Gothic brick-built building, situated a short distance to the northwest of the Grote Markt. Plantin Mauritus Museum preserves the house of the printer Christoffel Plantain and his successor Jan Mauritus. The St. Boniface Church is an Anglican church and headseat of the Archdeanery Northwest Europe. Borentoren Farmer's Tower or KBC Tower, a 26-story building built in 1932, is the oldest skyscraper in Europe. It is the tallest building in Antwerp and the second tallest structure after the Cathedral of Our Lady. The building was designed by Emil van Averbecke, R. van Honecker and Joss Smolderen. Royal Museum of Fine Arts Museum Meyer van den Berg, with works from the Gothic and Renaissance period in the Netherlands and Belgium, including paintings by Peter Bruegel the Elder. Rubens House is the former home and studio of Peter Paul Rubens (1577–1640) in Antwerp. It is now a museum. Rockox House is the former 17th-century residence of Nicolas II Rockox, Lord Mayor of Antwerp. Exchange or Bourse. The current building was built in 1872. Law Courts, designed by the Richard Rogers Partnership, Arup and VK Studio, and opened by King Albert II, in April 2006. This building is the antithesis of the heavy, dark court building, designed by Joseph Poilet, which dominates the skyline of Brussels. The courtrooms sit on top of six fingers that radiate from an airy central hall, and are surmounted by spires, which provide north light and resemble oast houses or the sails of barges on the nearby River Scheldt. It is built on the site of the old Zoud South station, at the end of a magnificent 1.5 km perspective at the southern end of Americali. The road neatly disappears into an underpass under Oval Boulevardplatz to join the motorway ring. This leaves peaceful surface access by foot, bicycle or tram route 12. The building's highest sail is 51 meters 167 feet high, has a floor area of 77,000 square meters 830,000 square feet, and cost 130 million euros. Zurenborg, a late 19th century Belle Epoque neighborhood, on the border of Antwerp and Berkham, with many Art Nouveau architectural elements. The area counts as one of the most original Belle Epoque urban expansion areas in Europe. Museum Aan de Strum, Den Botaniek or Antwerp's Botanical Garden, created in 1825. Located in the city center, at the Leopoldstraat, it covers an area of almost one hectare. Harmonium Art Museum, a museum on pump organs in Klein Willebrook. Fortifications Although Antwerp was formerly a fortified city, hardly anything remains of the former Ensint, only some remains of the city wall can be seen near the Vlieschwe Museum at the corner of Blurdberg and Birchgracht. A replica of a castle named Steen has been partly rebuilt near the Scheldt Kays in the 19th century. Antwerp's development as a fortified city is documented between the 10th and the 20th century. The fortifications were developed in different phases. 10th century, fortification of the wharf with a wall and a ditch. 12th and 13th century, canals, so-called Vlieten and Royan, were made. 16th century, Spanish fortifications. 
19th century, double ring of Brialmont forts around the city, dismantling of the Spanish fortifications. 20th century, 1960 dismantling of the inner ring of forts, decommissioning of the outer ring of forts. Topic: Demographics. Topic: Historical population. This is the population of the city of Antwerp only, not of the larger current municipality of the same name. Topic: Minorities. In 2010, 36% to 39% of the inhabitants of Antwerp had a migrant background. A study projects that in 2020, 55% of the population will be of migrant background. <inaudible> <inaudible> Jewish community After the Holocaust and the destruction of its many Jews, Antwerp became a major center for Orthodox Jews. At present, about 15,000 Haredi Jews, many of them Hasidic, live in Antwerp. The city has three official Jewish congregations, Shimrei Hadass, headed by Rabbi Dovid Moshe Lieberman, Maxike Hadass, headed by Rabbi Aaron Schiff, formerly by Chief Rabbi Chaim Kreisworth, and the Portuguese community Ben Moshe. Antwerp has an extensive network of synagogues, shops, schools and organizations. Significant Hasidic movements in Antwerp include Savorsk, based in Antwerp, as well as branches of Satma, Bells, Bobav, Ger, Skur, Klausenberg, Wisnitz and several others. Rabbi Chaim Kreisworth, chief rabbi of the Maxike Hardis community, who died in 2003, was arguably one of the better-known personalities to have been based in Antwerp. An attempt to have a street named after him has received the support of the town hall and is in the process of being implemented. Topic. Jain community The Jains in Belgium are estimated to be around about 1,500 people. The majority live in Antwerp, mostly involved in the very lucrative diamond business. Belgian Indian Jains controlled two thirds of the rough diamonds trade and supplied India with roughly 36% of their rough diamonds. A major temple, with a cultural centre, has been built in Antwerp. Wilreich. Mr. Ramesh Mehta, a Jain, is a full fledged member of the Belgian Council of Religious Leaders, put up on 17 December 2009. Topic. Armenian community There are significant Armenian communities that reside in Antwerp, many of them are descendants of traders who settled during the 19th century. Most Armenian Belgians are adherents of the Armenian Apostolic Church, with a smaller numbers are adherents of the Armenian Catholic Church and Armenian Evangelical Church. One of the important sectors that Armenian communities in Antwerp excel and involved in is the diamonds trade business, that based primarily in the diamond district. Some of the famous Armenian families involved in the diamond business in the city are the Artinians, Arslanians, Aslanians, Barsamians and the Osganians. Topic. Economy. Topic. Port According to the American Association of Port Authorities, the Port of Antwerp was the 17th largest by tonnage port in the world in 2005 and second only to Rotterdam in Europe. It handled 235.2 million tons of cargo in 2018. Importantly it handles high volumes of economically attractive general and project cargo, as well as bulk cargo. 
Antwerp's docklands, with five oil refineries, are home to a massive concentration of petrochemical industries, second only to the petrochemical cluster in Houston, Texas. Electricity generation is also an important activity, with four nuclear power plants at Dole, a conventional power station in Callow, as well as several smaller combined cycle plants. There is a wind farm in the northern part of the port area. There are plans to extend this in the period 2014 to 2020. The old Belgian Bluestone Keys bordering the Scheldt for a distance of 5.6 kilometers (3.5 miles) to the north and south of the city center have been retained for the sentimental value and are used mainly by cruise ships and short sea shipping. Topic: Diamonds. Antwerp's other great mainstay is the diamond trade that takes place largely within the diamond district. 85% of the world's rough diamonds pass through the district annually, and in 2011 turnover in the industry was $56 billion. The city has four diamond bourses, the Diamond Club of Antwerp, the Burs Vor Diamanthandel, the Antwerp's J Diamantring and the Vray Diamanthandel. Antwerp's history in the diamond trade dates back to as early as the 16th century, with the first Diamond Cutters Guild being introduced in 1584. The industry never disappeared from Antwerp, and even experienced a second boom in the early 20th century. By the year 1924, Antwerp had over 13,000 diamond finishers. Since World War II families of the large Hasidic Jewish community have dominated Antwerp's diamond trading industry, although the last two decades have seen Indian and Maronite Christian from Lebanon and Armenian, trade has become increasingly important. Antwerp World Diamond Center, AWDC, the successor to the Hog Rad Vor Diamant, plays an important role in setting standards, regulating professional ethics, training and promoting the interests of Antwerp as the capital of the diamond industry. However, in recent years Antwerp has seen a downturn in the diamond business, with the industry shifting to cheaper labor markets such as Dubai or India. Topic. Transportation Topic. Road. A six-lane motorway bypass encircles much of the city centre and runs through the urban residential area of Antwerp. Known locally as the Ring, it offers motorway connections to Brussels, Hasselt and Liege, Ghent, Lille and Bruges and Breda and bergen op Zoom, Netherlands. The banks of the Scheldt are linked by three road tunnels, in order of construction, the Waasland Tunnel 1934, the Kennedy Tunnel 1967, and the Liefkenshoek Tunnel 1991. Daily congestion on the ring led to a fourth high-volume highway link called the Oosterweel Connection being proposed. It would have entailed the construction of a long viaduct and bridge, the Lang Whopper, over the docks on the north side of the city in combination with the widening of the existing motorway into a 14-lane motorway. These plans were eventually rejected in a 2009 public referendum. In September 2010 the Flemish government decided to replace the bridge by a series of tunnels. There are ideas to cover the ring in a similar way as happened around Paris, Hamburg, Madrid and other cities. This would reconnect the city with its suburbs and would provide development opportunities to accommodate part of the foreseen population growth in Antwerp which currently are not possible because of the pollution and noise generated by the traffic on the ring. An old plan to build an R2 outer ring road outside the built-up urban area around the Antwerp agglomeration for port-related traffic and transit traffic never materialized. Topic. Rail Antwerp is the focus of lines to the north to Essen and the Netherlands, east to Turnhout, south to Mechelen, Brussels and Charleroi, and southwest to Ghent and Ostend. 
It is served by international trains to Amsterdam and Paris, and national trains to Ghent, Bruges, Ostend, Brussels, Charleroi, Hasselt, Liege, Leuven and Turnhout. Antwerp Central Station is an architectural monument in itself, and is mentioned in W. G. Siebold's haunting novel Austerlitz. Prior to the completion in 2007 of a tunnel that runs northwards under the city center to emerge at the old Antwerp Dam station, Central was a terminus. Trains from Brussels to the Netherlands had to either reverse at Central or call only at Berkham Station, 2 km one mile, to the south, and then describe a semicircle to the east, round the single. Now, they call at the new lower level of the station before continuing in the same direction. Antwerp is also home to Antwerp and Nord, the largest classification yard for freight in Belgium and second largest in Europe. The majority of freight trains in Belgium depart from or arrive here. It has two classification humps and over a hundred tracks. Topic. Public transportation The city has a web of tram and bus lines operated by De Lijn and providing access to the city center, suburbs and the left bank. The tram network has 12 lines, of which the underground section is called the Premetro, and includes a tunnel under the river. The Franklin Roosevelt functions as the city's main hub for local and regional bus lines. Topic. Air A small airport, Antwerp International Airport, is located in the district of Derna, with passenger service to various European destinations. A bus service connects the airport to the city centre. The now defunct VLM Airlines had its head office on the grounds of Antwerp International Airport. This office is also CityJet's Antwerp office. When VG Airlines, Delsi Airlines existed, its head office was located in the district of Merksem. Belgium's major international airport, Brussels Airport, is about 45 kilometers (28 miles) from the city of Antwerp and connects the city worldwide. It is connected to the city center by bus and also by train. The new Diabolo rail connection provides a direct fast train connection between Antwerp and Brussels Airport as of the summer of 2012. There is also a direct rail service between Antwerp, calling at Central and Berkham stations, and Charleroi South Station, with a connecting bus link to Brussels South Charleroi Airport, which runs twice every hour on working days. The runway has increased in length, and there is now direct connectivity to Spain, United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy, and Greece from the city of Antwerp. Topic: Politics. Topic: City Council. The current city council was elected in the October 2018 elections. The current majority consists of NVA, SP, A and Open VLD, led by Mayor Bart de Weaver NVA. Topic: <laughs> Former Mayors. In the 16th and 17th century important mayors include Philips of Marnix, Lord of St. Aldegonde, Antony van Stralen, Lord of Merxham and Nicolas II Rocox. In the early years after Belgian independence, Antwerp was governed by Catholic Unionist mayors. Between 1848 and 1921, all mayors were from the Liberal Party except for the so-called meeting intermezzo between 1863 and 1872. Between 1921 and 1932, the city had a Catholic mayor again, Franz van Kouwelet. 
From 1932 onwards and up until 2013, all mayors belonged to the Social Democrat Party, Camille Heisman's, Lode Kraybeck's, Franz Detiege and Mathilde Schroyens, and after the municipality fusion, Bob Kuhl's, Leona Detiege and Patrick Janssen's. Since 2013, the mayor is the Flemish nationalist Bart de Weaver, belonging to the Flemish separatist party NVA, New Flemish Alliance. Topic. Climate Antwerp has an oceanic climate similar to that of southern England, while being far enough inland to build up summer warmth above 23 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit average highs for both July and August. Winters are more dominated by the maritime currents instead, with temps being heavily moderated. Topic. Culture Antwerp had an artistic reputation in the 17th century, based on its school of painting, which included Rubens, Van Dyck, Jordans, the two Teniers and many others. Informally, most Antwerpians in Dutch Antwerpenaren, people from Antwerp, daily speak Antwerpian in Dutch Antwerps, a dialect that Dutch speakers know as distinctive from other Brabantic dialects through its typical vowel pronunciations, approximating the vowel sound in boor for one of its long a sounds while other short a's are very sharp like the vowel sound in hat. The Ect Antwerps Tita, authentic Antwerpian theatre brings the dialect on stage. Topic. Fashion Antwerp is a rising fashion city, and has produced designers such as the Antwerp 6. The city has a cult status in the fashion world, due to the Royal Academy of Fine Arts, one of the most important fashion academies in the world. It has served as the learning center for many Belgian fashion designers. Since the 1980s, several graduates of the Belgian Royal Academy of Fine Arts have become internationally successful fashion designers in Antwerp. The city has had a huge influence on other Belgian fashion designers such as Raph Simons, Veronique Branquinho, Olivier Theyerskens and Chris Van Asher. Topic. Local products Antwerp is famous for its local products. In August every year the Bolliksfest takes place. The Bolliksfest is a showcase for such local products as Bollica, an amber beer from the De Koninck Brewery. The Mocatine sweets made by Confissiri Rudthuft, Elixir Danvers, a locally made liquor, locally roasted coffee from Coffee Verheyen, sugar from Candico, Poolster pickled herring and Equinox horse meat, are other examples of local specialities. One of the most known products of the city are its biscuits, the Antwerp's handjays, literally, Antwerp hands. Usually made from a short pastry with almonds or milk chocolate, they symbolize the Antwerp trademark and folklore. The local products are represented by a non-profit organization, Streekproducten Provincie Antwerpen VZW. Topic missions to seafarers A number of Christian missions to seafarers are based in Antwerp, notably on the Italiele. These include the Mission to Seafarers, British and International Sailors Society, the Finnish Seamen's Mission, the Norwegian Estjomanskirken and the Apostleship of the Sea. They provide cafeterias, cultural and social activities as well as religious services. Topic. Music Antwerp is the home of the Antwerp Jazz Club, AJC, founded in 1938 and located on the Square Grote Markt since 1994. Topic: Music festivals. 
Kulturmarkt van Vlaanderenis is a musical festival and a touristic attraction that takes place annually on the final Sunday of August in the city centre of Antwerp. Where international and local musicians and actors present their stage and street performances, Linkawufa is a pop rock music festival located at the left bank of the Scheldt. This music festival starts in August and mostly local Belgian musicians play and perform in this event. Topic: World Choir Games. The city of Antwerp will co-host the 2020 World Choir Games together with the city of Ghent. Organized by the Interkultur Foundation, the World Choir Games is the biggest choral competition and festival in the world. Topic: Sport. Antwerp held the 1920 Summer Olympics, which were the first games after the First World War and also the only ones to be held in Belgium. The road cycling events took place in the streets of the city. Royal Antwerp FC, currently playing in the Belgian First Division, were founded in 1880 and is known as the Great Old for being the first club registered to the Royal Belgian Football Association in 1895. Since 1998, the club has taken Manchester United players on loan in an official partnership. Another club in the city was Beershow Vac, founded in 1899 by former Royal Antwerp players. They played at the Olympisch Stadion, the main venue of the 1920 Olympics. Nowadays KFCO Beershow Wilreich plays at the Olympisch Stadion in the Belgian second division. The Antwerp Giants play in Basketball League Belgium and Top Volley Antwerpen play in the Belgium Men's Volleyball League. For the year 2013, Antwerp was awarded the title of European Capital of Sport. Antwerp hosted the 2013 World Artistic Gymnastics Championships. Antwerp hosted the start of Stage 3 of the 2015 Tour de France on 6 July 2015. Topic. Higher education Antwerp has a university and several colleges. The University of Antwerp Universiteit Antwerpen was established in 2003, following the merger of the RUCA, UFSIA and UIA institutes. Their roots go back to 1852. The university has approximately 13,000 registered students, making it the third largest university in Flanders, as well as 1,800 foreign students. It has seven faculties, spread over four campus locations in the city centre and in the south of the city. The city has several colleges, including Charlemagne University College, Carol de Grote Hogeschool, Planten University College, Plantain Hogeschool, and Artesis University College, Artesis Hogeschool. Artesis University College has about 8,600 students and 1,600 staff, and Charlemagne University College has about 10,000 students and 1,300 staff. Planten University College has approximately 3,700 students. Topic: International Relations. Topic: Twin Towns and Sister Cities. The following places are twinned with or sister cities to Antwerp. Topic: Partnerships. Topic: Notable people. Topic: Born in Antwerp. Topic. Lived in Antwerp 
Erasmus II Schetz, Lord of Grobendonk Abraham Mayer, German-born physician 1848. Quentin Matzies, Renaissance painter, founder of the Antwerp School 1466 Jan Mabuse, painter c. 1478–1532 Joachim Patinier, landscape and religious painter c. 1480–1524 John Rogers, Christian minister, Bible translator and commentator, and martyr c. 1500–1555 Jules van Cleve, painter c. 1500-1540-41 Damião de Góis, Portuguese humanist philosopher 1502-1574 Sir Thomas Gresham, English merchant and financier c. 1519-1579 Sir Anthony Moore, portrait painter 1577 Christoffel Plantain, humanist, book printer and publisher, c. 1520-1589. Peter Bruegel the Elder, painter and printmaker, 1525-1569. Philip van Marnix, writer and statesman, 1538-1598. Simon Stephen, mathematician and engineer, c. 1548-49-1620 Federigo Giambelli, Italian military and civil engineer c. 1550 c. 1610 John Bull, English, Welsh composer, musician, and organ builder c. 1562-1628 Jan Bruegel the Elder, also known as Velvet Bruegel, painter 1568-1625 Peter Paul Rubens, painter 1577-1640 William Cavendish, 1st Duke of Newcastle, English soldier, politician, and writer c. 1592-1676 Adrian Brower, painter 1605-1638 Jan David Zunderheim, painter 1606-1684 Wenceslas Holler, Bohemian etcher 1607-1677 Jan Levens, painter 1607-1674 Ferdinand van Apshoven the Younger, painter c. 1630–1694 Frederic Theodore Faber, painter 1782–1799 Jan Franz Willems, writer 1793–1846 Henry Alexis Brialmont, military engineer 1821–1903 Sir Lawrence Alma Tadema, painter 1836 to 1912. Vincent van Gogh, impressionist Dutch painter who lived in Antwerp for about four months, 1853 to 1890. Camille Heismans, socialist politician, former mayor of Antwerp and former prime minister of Belgium, 1871 to 1968. Moshe Yitzchok Guitzman, leader of the Hasidic Savorsk movement based in Antwerp, 1881-1976 Romy Goldmans, businessman, 1882-1960 Gerard Walshap, writer, 1898-1989 Albert Lila, Minister of Justice, 1900-1976 Suzanne Lila, essayist, novelist, and playwright, 1901-1992 Heaven Tanudereja, designer, artist Eric de Kuyper, award-winning novelist, filmmaker, semiotician Philip Cesarego, former British Army soldier, conman, hoaxer, mercenary lived in Antwerp and found dead in a garage, 1952-2008 Jean Genet, French writer and political activist, 1909-1986, lived in Antwerp for short period in the 1930s. 
George du Maurier, came to Antwerp to study art and lost the sight in one eye. Cartoonist, author, and grandfather of Daphne du Maurier, 1834 to 1896. Heim Kreisworth, Talmudist and rabbi of the Max Eich Hardis community, Antwerp, 1918 to 2001. William Tyndale, Bible translator, arrested in Antwerp 1535 and burnt at Vilvord in 1536 c. 1494 to 1536. Akiba Rubinstein, Polish Grandmaster of Chess, 1882 to 1961. Vila Castellan, performer Ray Cox, English TV host Robert Barrett Browning, or Penn, only child of Robert and Elizabeth Barrett Browning, studied painting in Antwerp Ford Maddox Brown, leading Pre-Raphaelite painter. Studied art at Antwerp. August de Boot, politician 1895-1986 Nicolas II Rocox Bernoulli family, renowned family of mathematicians and physicists. Topic: Select neighborhoods. Den Dam, an area in northern Antwerp. The Diamond District, an area consisting of several square blocks, it is Antwerp's center for the cutting, polishing, and trading of diamonds. Linkerover, Antwerp on the left bank of the Scheldt with a lot of apartment buildings. Meer, Antwerp's largest shopping street. Van Wessenbeekstraat, the city's Chinatown. Het Zoud, the south of Antwerp, notable for its museums and expo grounds. Zurenborg, an area between Central and Berkham Station with a concentration of Art Nouveau townhouses. Topic. See also Antwerp Book Fair Antwerp Lace Antwerp Water Works R. AMVC Archief N Museum voor het Vlaams Culture 11 Jewish Community of Antwerp List of Mayors of Antwerp Savorsk, Hasidic Jewish Movement based in Antwerp Royal Antwerp FC. Local Football Club